Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to improve your pyrography. Um, so I can tell you from personal experience that these tips will help you be, uh, help you improve by being more efficient and from trying new things. So tip number one is keep your tools clean. Um, so what I use to keep my um, pyrography pen clean, so I forgot to bring it to the table, um, I use this. This is a tea strainer. I have this and I don't even like tea so I started using it to clean my tip. If you just rub it on here, it will scrape off the carbon, um, any build up from any finish you have on any wood. And you can do this while your pen is on, off, whether it's hot, cold, whatever. And it will cause no damage to your tip and clean it perfectly. Tip two, find your favorite tip and maximize the usage from one tip. So what I mean by that is find every technique you can using only one tip. So you want to try and learn how to shade with that tip. You want to learn how to create detail with that tip. You want to learn how to do dark areas, large dark areas, small dark areas, large light areas, small light areas. You want to learn how to do everything with that one tip. I use the, I actually don't know the name of the tips. That's terrible. Um, and I'm a, I'm a pyrography artist. But I use the one, it's like a razor. It's like really sharp, like a little triangle. I use that and I do absolutely everything with it. I don't use any other tip um, except that one. And by doing this, you will save a lot of time from not having to change your tips, waiting for it to cool down, all this stuff. You will also cause less damage to your tips if you're taking it off with, uh, with pliers to prevent yourself from burning yourself. You might also damage your tool. You might damage the element inside, constantly changing tips back and forth. So give that a try. If that's It's gonna help you be more efficient and you're gonna learn new things because you're trying new things with, with one tip. Tip three. I always work from a black and white image. It makes the whole process so much easier. When you're working from color, it's difficult to tell where the different tones, where the, the highlights, the darks will be. If you change that to monotone, it's much easier to see that since your burning is gonna be monotone. Two and two, right? So try that. It's gonna be a lot easier. when If you're, if you're working from a reference photo, it's gonna be a, a lot easier. And tip four, use high quality materials. I don't know how many times I've seen amazing, amazing like art, like pyrography pieces done on cheap wood or just bad wood. Um, for instance, I've seen like this amazing, it was done on plywood, man. And you know plywood is cheap, you understand? So. It just and because because it is cheap, the overall result looks cheap. So also the type of wood you use, not just cheap woods, but the type of wood you use, for example, pine wood, horrible. Don't use pine wood. Um, you'll find it's because it's a soft wood, uh, there's a, a great inconsistency in the in the texture um, of the wood. So it's soft and it's hard where the grain is and you, it's really difficult to control your burn on that kind of wood. Um, what I use is about three inch thick sycamore. Uh, it's nice, like plain, clean canvas to work with. Um, but you know, having it three inch thick also adds to the overall value of its look, if you understand what I'm saying. so. It just it looks heavy duty. Now don't get me wrong, it's not cheap. Probably pay about between like 30 to 60 bucks for it on eBay, which is where I get mine. But it's definitely worth the investment if you're planning on selling your pieces. But even if you're planning on taking them to the gallery somewhere, trust me, a gallery is not gonna accept plywood. 
but they may just accept something that looks of value. And also you can sell it for a lot higher price, a, a, a much higher price when it's on valuable materials. Tip five, I always increase the contrast on my reference photos that I'm working from. This just helps give the photo more depth. So say like I've had a custom order from someone, they've sent me a photo of their pet or whatever that they want me to do for them. But the overall image, there's no, there's no contrast, there's no depth to the picture. Say it's like just taken uh, with, with, with soft, soft light or on an overcast day outside, right? Now that picture is gonna look flat. Just take it into editing, whichever program, it doesn't matter. Get the contrast slider, slide it up until it looks more depthy. Um, and then work for that, work from that. You'll it will also increase the detail in the picture, helping you understand where the detail is and what you need to do to it to make it look good. And when your darks are dark and your lights are light, that really gives your overall picture a lot of depth, which is what I try to do in every single uh, piece that I do, is dark, 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 and light, light, light. Like it's a big, big difference between the two and it just gives the, the picture like a punch, you know? So yeah, that's me. Uh, that's my tips on how to improve your pyrography, in my opinion anyway. We don't have to use these tips if you don't want to. I use them all the time and I find them quite effective. So if you feel like you wanna try some stuff that you heard just now that you haven't tried before, go ahead, enjoy yourself. Until next time.